I'm Mike Cotton uh, here at Indianapolis with my new super stock car. Uh, it's a Mike Pastelny built car probably as long as 15 years ago. Uh, and the gentleman passed away that was having it built and it floated around, changed hands two or three times and ended up with my good friend Thomas Baker who sold it to me about two years ago. Uh, we sent it to Phil Mandela to have the engine plates built and just finish up some of the little things. Uh, George Sirocco in Houston painted it and my friend Del Holquist put the interior in it while it was in Houston. It's been back and forth across the country a couple of times in the last two years and uh, we put one, we put a 383 in it. I, my other car has 383 motors and we put one in it and brought it to Indy uh, to debut it. The intention for this car is to be a 340 car and I hope next year here at Indianapolis that I'm running Superstock J with a 340. New Cuda. Somebody asked me yesterday, he said, did Mike send that to paint? And I said, well, of course not, because as we all know, you can't get a car painted in less than two years. Or maybe three. No, this is a different car. Mike found this car a couple of years ago, and he's been working on it ever since. It is a literal rotisserie restoration. It is absolutely beautiful. It's got a 383 under the hood. Bartoli with a 350. They're both in super I automatic. The voodoo mistress for Mike Cotton and Fred Bartoli for the folks at Altronics Performance. Down to the stripe they go. It's going to be Bartoli. He goes 953, 137, 974. I fell in love with these cars when I was 16. I never owned one until I was probably almost 50. And now I have four of them, two race cars and two street cars. And, uh, but I did buy a brand new Duster. A lot of people heard the story when, when I was 18 years old. My wife and I went on our honeymoon in it and everything. And uh, I raced that as a stock eliminator car from 1983 till it got destroyed in a racing accident uh, in 2013, I believe. I tried to black that out. And uh, of course we have a twin Duster to it now that I drive now. And Paula quit racing for a while after her accident, and we got her a Camaro. Uh, I won't say why. I don't want to be. <laughs> it's because it's because it's a little slower and easier, and I say that laughing. And uh, but anyway, she's been driving that for three or four years and having fun. She said she wanted to quit under her own terms, and so we thought she'd drive for about two years and quit, but now she's addicted to it again, so I don't think she'll be quitting anytime soon. 71 Cuda, uh, automatic car. It has a Pro Trans. It ha it's old school. It has a Dana with 537 gear. Uh, it's, it, the NHRA factor is 300 horse. It's a 335 horse, uh, 383 NHRA factor to 300. So the minimum is 3170 and I. I normally run J with my other car, but this car was so light and we didn't have time to get the ballast bars built for it and everything. So I ran I here this year, even though we were a little heavy, but there was no way I could get enough ballast in it to run J. Uh, it, it, is, it, it is a 71 Cuda. Uh, my other car is a 70. And uh, we, we built the 71 particularly for the 340 because we wanted to be able to run the Thermoquad when we run the 340. So my, this 383 is kind of a stopgap deal until we get the 340 going. Well, it, it had only been down the track six times and uh, we were having some chassis issues. It would hit and unload. It would wheel stand too big. And, but I still was going to bring it to Indy. I thought, what better place for a test and tune than the U.S. Nationals? So finally, uh, I got my two hits. I, I got beat first round of class. And then during the eliminator, we made just a big swing at the four link and did some adjustments on the front shocks. And it made its best pass by far. So even though I had a horrible light in the first round, because I didn't know whether it was going to go over backwards or blow the tires off. So anyway, I, I got beat first round, but we went away pretty happy that the car is working now. So. I'm looking forward to the next race we take. It. First off, at every national event, which for most of you fans have been coming here, you know this, we hand out a couple of different awards, and they are uh, highly sought after in the Lucas Oil Pits, and in this case, we have a Camping World Series vehicle involved as well. And the first one we're giving out is Best Appearing. And when you build a new race car, Best Appearing is usually like at the top of the list for something you want. We're here with Mike Cotton, Mike and Paula from out in Arizona, West Coast Racer, so Al and I are used to seeing them, Stock and Super Stock stalwarts. Mike won a couple weeks ago out in Topeka in Stock Eliminator. 
And how did he celebrate that? He brought out a brand new super stock car. And man, is this thing beautiful. The best appearing car at the U.S. Nationals. Mike, what's that mean for you and your family? It means a lot. We, we've made a real effort to debut this car here. A lot of really talented people took extra time, worked really hard. Their skills really show. And there was no way I wasn't going to get the car here. Tell us about all the paint work that went into this. This was a car that you guys... When you bought this car, it was not ready to be a race car, and you had to put a lot of work into it to make it a race car. It was a car that Mike Pastelny built many years ago that was never finished due to some unfortunate circumstances. My good friend Thomas Baker sold it to me, and I thank him for that because he knew I would finish it. He didn't have the time. Tim Hachinsky put the paint, the Scott Brown design on. George Sirocco put the original blue on it. And Dell Holquist did the beautiful interior and really, really talented people. Bill Mandela finished the chassis work, the motor plates, helped me sort the car out. And of course, Eric Jones does all my fantastic super stock power that at this race I only used to drive up for this award because the driver was horrible. Well, that's all right. We'll, uh, you still get to take home a Wally. Best appearing. Show of hands. We're at the Dodge Power Brokers U.S. National. Show of hands if you like Mopar power. Because this guy right here, if you want to talk to somebody who likes himself, the Mopar and the Pony Power down there, boy, Mopar Power is your thing. Yeah, th that is. I loved it my whole life. I turned 16 and 70 when these cars turned out, and I've ruined my life over them. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank Mike. Thank you very much. Mike Cotton gets best appearance. We're going to move on to our best engineer. Not Mike Cotton, check out this ride. The 71 Cuda. Mike Cotton got a win in stock a couple of weeks ago, teased this car, and here it is. Going up against... Ray Claus, but Ray, his 1032 dial-in, Mike with his 977 dial-in, Ray's got the advantage, and Ray takes the win two over.